the idea. Look at the skirt and everything. By the North American Boxing Federation, the supervisor is Steve English. And waiting for the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing, 41 wins, 4 defeats, 4 draws, standing record, 33 wins, only 1 defeat. Payet! Rafael Ruela! He is over there. Scraping his shoes like the bull does. And Paez grabbed and was holding all of these fighters. Said that uh, sometimes his behavior. They know that they have to go 12 rounds. That's it, Paez down, Tom. Ruelas banged it in Mexicali. Good right hand by Paez. May have hurt Ruelas. Paez dropped to the canvas. Ruelas beats him with a right hand as he bulls. Another uppercut by Ruelas. And another right hand. Left and a right, driving Paez back. Another left and down he goes. Has sent Paez to the deck twice here. In this opening round, still the round coming to a close. Even. Oh, rabbits will be a barrage of punches. One. That left staggered him down. For a title go here in Los Angeles in years. Trying to measure his man. Missing. Ruelas has shown that he. Ruelas is a puncher. Paez has to get on the bicycle and try to outbox the hype and horse play that went on prior to these two punch has had him down not once but twice in the first round for Frida Cat banging away at Paez. Ruelas was born in Jalisco though he lives here in the San Fernando Valley. Yeah. They had him down twice in the first round. So far this crowd just waiting and at just a shorter Anybody can be can be beat. He said even Chavez one day will get defeated. Yeah. Rafael Ruelas. Ruelas pounding punches in there. Banging away. Ruelas bangs away with a left hook. Sends out a jab. His way in. Forcing the younger taller man back against the rope. Wow. I suspect this is not going to go the distance. This is the toughest test of his you know, career. The worst thing that can happen for fighting in a flurry and Ruelas coming right back. That action from round three. And Rafael Ruelas, taller, 5'11", younger, 21. An uppercut, another right in the left. Paez fighting his way. Ruelas <laughs> drives him back a bit. Paez might very well be saying, what is it with this kid? I've hit him with everything but the in this round. Whoa! He may have Ruelas hurt. Twice. A full minute, five seconds to go, and this the... Oh. He's got Paez in the corner. Ten seconds from rest for... Ruelas. He got hit again, Paul. Half a minute to go in round four. Sheeran. And screaming. There's the bell action. And the big... Um, Rush put on by Feather the Storm, and here we go for round number five. Of the Sharp uppercut thrown by Ruelas. Oh, thing got underway about what he would consider a low blow. Uh -oh. Paez, for his advice, keep throwing punches, banging away at Paez. He's got a cutter just underneath it. Back him up, back him up. About a minute ten remaining here in the fifth round. It's been non-stop to start to get busy. I tell you, Ruelas has hit him. That's right. Those little shorts inside will take the fight out of you. But he can steal this one. We'll be back to see about round six. Right on top of him, pounding away with jabs, a little short uppercut. At six years younger. But he weathered a most difficult time. On the end of the jab. Back him up. Don't let him. God damn it, cut off the wind. Don't. Plotting in a low, bobbing, weaving style. Ruelas. Ruelas did not back. Ruelas is going to have to keep the pressure on him. Back whether he 
turned it on. He looked rubber like for a moment. No, he was doing like the 20 seconds remaining. Less than that now here in There's the bell, and that's the end. 10 seconds remaining. And uh, whose gas tank has gotten pumped back up, Ruben, just translated to our audience. Is right now at the brink. Either make me or break me on this featherweight champion. Ruben Castillo scorecard here after seven. Getting to him. And maybe playing possible, leading you into a corner. And in two, as that round ended, seven went to his corner. He punches. He has almost given Ruben just the last two rounds. With your knuckles, it's going it's gonna, to. It's gonna, Marty Jenkins, the third man in the ring, even a moment ago, just to its feet with a roar. Luelis has had some hand problems, Tom. It was cut on the cheek right under the, on the right eye. And he's... Again, he appears to be tired and a bit used. Ruelas fans are on their feet sensing. Ruelas punching away at the bell. He has a, a cut over his right eye. But on the other eye, heavily swollen. He has taken a lot of punches tonight. He's very effective. Dead serious. He came in a trim 134. Baez. Dead. He's only 27. Trying to somehow reach back. And my Ruelas at 21 has not been in against this type of... They're human beings. They're tired. They've been hurt. Threshold of the biggest win of his young. He has not offered much resistance in the last three rounds because he can come out and win this, just like you say. He'll telecast from the Great Western Forum tonight. This has been a quirky good time. Slipping away, we'll be back after this. Maybe fighting for his boxing career here. He is blows, but in the mouth as well. You can see now his face now is a mass of blood. From the blood coming, blood will come from the nose, of course. Almost anybody who's ever been in the ring will have it. It was seemed incessant the effects of a 10-round battle coming to the end of round 10. Baez staggered and can call the doctor into the ring at the end of the 10th round. Baez, his face bleeding blood flowing from his nose and rafael ruela surrounded tossed in the up there we'll get to ruben but first of all we have this important bit of business concurrence with ringside physician dr robert carnes rafael ruela because he came out you know i, I wouldn't expect him to be as hard as he as he came in still kept fighting pretty good he was strong but I still felt that I was stronger than he was. Baez going backwards, you're going to win. And he did exactly that. Congratulations to 